Hi, my name is Dylan, and today's video is a setup tutorial of the GLINAT Opal for use with virtual desktop and other wireless VR methods. Most wireless VR solutions as of now require a fully wired network connection, as shown here, but some routers have a neat function called repeater mode, which makes an Ethernet connection to the main home router unnecessary. The GLINAT Opal is the least expensive router with repeater mode that has been approved for use with Virtual Desktop, a popular wireless PC VR app. I don't typically ask for likes, but if you like this video and find it helpful, please click that thumbs up. It helps the video reach a wider audience, and in this case, it means more people will see how easy it is to set up a clean wireless PC VR solution without having to run a long cable from the VR playroom to the home router, as shown in this diagram by Dentex. Without further ado, let's get cracking. Step one, wire it up. Connect the router to power with the included power brick and connect the ethernet cable to your PC on one end and the LAN port on the other end not to the WAN port. When in doubt, choose the middle port. Step two, wait a minute or two. It can take a while for this router to boot up, so I would give it around two minutes. And then in the internet browser on your PC, go to the address 192.168.8.1. And if you come up with this screen, try again a few times. Potential security risk ahead. Firefox detected a potential security threat and did not continue. Nope, I know what I'm doing. This is the admin panel address. So we are going to continue. Once you reach this screen, you can choose your language. It's already on English, so I'm clicking next. And set up your admin password. Now to be completely clear, this is not the Wi-Fi password you are creating. You are just making an admin password for editing the settings on the router. So I'm just going to give it a generic password. Submit. And once you have created your password, you will come to this screen. And now we're on to step three, connecting to the internet. You can do this by connecting the WAN port of your Opal to a LAN port on your home router or connect it to your home Wi-Fi using repeater mode, which is the purpose of this tutorial. To set up repeater mode, go ahead and click Scan. Wait for it to find Wi-Fi addresses. I will be censoring these out, but take note that some of these addresses have a little 5G icon next to them. This denotes which of the signals are 5 gigahertz. Any of the signals that do not have this are 2.4. In my experience, these 5G signals give the fastest connection, and they don't really interfere with virtual desktop if you're not doing anything serious with your network on the PC while you're playing virtual desktop. So I'm going to connect to 5 GHz, and we have successfully connected to the 5 GHz band because there is a 5G icon right here. Now just make sure that your PC can connect to the internet. Uh, in my case, Discord opened, which is a pretty good indicator. Okay, I think we're good. Shout out to The Basement, one of my favorite YouTube channels out there. Now I will be discussing pros and cons of connecting to the five gigahertz network versus the 2.4 gigahertz network later. But for now, we are moving on to step four. Go to the wireless tab. This is where you will set up your Wi-Fi names and passwords. You're going to need to change the password on both of these. X64 5G. Don't forget to apply to save your changes. Now I recommend leaving a 5G suffix on your five gigahertz network because it will be easier to distinguish which of these you want to connect to with your VR headset. And please note that even if you disable the 2.4 GHz signal, performing a soft reset will enable it. So always give it a unique password. And now that we've set up our networks, we are ready for step five, which is put on your VR headset and log into your new 5 GHz Wi-Fi. And once you're logged in, launch your wireless VR app of choice, be that Questlink, Virtual Desktop, ALVR, etc. And if it's not working, repeat the pairing process. Virtual Desktop can take up to a minute to refresh IP addresses, but once you're all connected, you're ready to play VR. 
So before I end the video, I wanted to include some troubleshooting steps. So if you lose access to the admin panel or something else weird is happening, try performing a soft reset. To do this, hold the button down here next to the toggle switch for about four seconds. The router light will flash slowly three times, and if you're unsure of the timing, let go as soon as it starts to blink a bit faster. Holding it for 10 seconds will cause a factory reset, so be careful here. Soft resets take about a minute to finish, and they won't reset any of your passwords or anything we set up in the tutorial, but you may need to connect to the internet again using repeater mode setup, so just repeat step three. Avoid using the Save Networks feature as well, because the Opal will often connect to the wrong frequency. For example, if you had it connected to 5 GHz before and reconnect through Saved Networks, it will connect to 2.4 GHz. Another thing to note is that the Opal should be at least 5 feet away from other electronics, especially speakers, monitors, and computers. I keep my router about 7 feet away from my desk on a shelf. I recommended choosing 5 GHz Wi-Fi in repeater mode setup because the internet speed is quite good with it, but it has a few drawbacks. The worst of which is that it disables the user from changing the 5 GHz channel settings, locking out potential room for optimization. You can do repeater mode setup again and choose 2.4 GHz, which has no 5G symbol on it, which we discussed earlier to try and improve wireless VR performance with the channel optimization button here on the Opal. But your internet speed will be quite reduced if you do this. So the easy way to have full control over these channels is to wire up the Opal directly to your home router. Personally, I've never had an issue using 5 GHz for both my VR headset and repeater mode, but depending on the situation, your experience may be vastly different. So if you have any questions about the Opal, feel free to ask in the virtual desktop Discord server. I also have a written setup guide with troubleshooting notes in the network channel there, and I'll include a link in the description to the virtual desktop Discord server and the official GLINet router documentation, where you can get info about firmware updates and other features of the Opal. That's going to be it for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video or found it helpful, don't forget to click that like button and have yourself a wonderful day. Bye for now.